Welcome back to Rome Boys on this episode, Hanging with the Saints. Today's saint that we're going to hang with is Saint Joseph of Cupertino. 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 Good, okay, good Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was most famous for levitating, mostly at prayer. Uh, from an early age, he loved to pray. And uh, Joseph joined the seminary but struggled with his studies to become a priest. Uh, those studies were very difficult for him. You know, I can relate to that. Mm. Uh, he was ordained in 1628 as a conventual Franciscan priest? What is yeah. it? Conventional. So there's different types of Franciscans. So he said, I want to be a conventional Franciscan priest, but oh. there's different varieties. Not a conventional, but conventional. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you it go. Must mean something. <laughs> uh, Joseph's gift for levitation uh, led him to be humble, patient, and obedient, even though at times he was greatly tempted and felt abandoned by God. Uh, he fasted and wore iron chains. Uh, for much of his life, gives a whole new meaning to heavy metal. There you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, Joseph was canonized a saint in 1767. In the investigation preceding the canonization, at least 70 incident, incidents of levitation are recorded, but the total number of flights, I mean, how can you, you yeah, flights? <laughs> yeah, l- levitating, you know, How many floating. miles did he fly? <laughs> yeah, 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 really, freaking flyer miles. <laughs> <laughs> in Cupertino, Naples, Rome, and Assisi cannot be estimated. So they have no idea. At yeah. least 70, but probably hundreds of times. That's crazy, mm-hmm. being able to, f- to basically fly. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is a patron saint of aviators. Makes no sense. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Flying, studying, and those suffering mental handicaps. Okay, yeah, I'm relating to this guy. Yeah, maybe you'll start flying. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a mental handicap, nor can you yeah. not study. But. <laughs> okay. There was a movie about him, The Reluctant Saint. It came out in 1962, and it is a pretty good movie. It's I a great movie, it. yeah. It's a great yeah. movie, black and white. You know, I would show it to my students. They're like, oh, black and white, but they got into it. They really enjoyed it. So <laughs> it's a humorous one. The mother is, uh, you know, she's a tough cookie. She's your typical Italian woman that you don't mess with and slaps them around a lot. So, Ooh, anyway, okay. so, so at least it's uh, it's true to its Italian heritage and, <laughs> and up there. So but we got okay. a bunch of stories to share with you. Um, and even within the story, each of us, when Joe and I go, uh, there's even two or three stories within it. So right. we're going to get several stories here. So there is an elderly man that asks that St. Joseph be present at the hour of his death because he knew it was coming sometime soon. Yeah, I think I'd want a saint in my presence. If, if you know he's around, might as well ask. Right? The saint promised to be there and stated even though he would be in Rome. So he already knew ahead of time he was going to be away, but he'd be there. The elderly man became sick while St. Joseph was in Rome, and many witnesses attest to seeing St. Joseph speaking with the man, of course, giving him the sacraments. When asked how did he come, he replied, I came to assist his soul, and then suddenly disappeared. The saint also assisted his mother in Cupertino on her deathbed when a bright light filled the room while at the same time he was crying in Assisi, saddened by the death of his mother. Witnesses say they saw him in both places at the same day and time. So he didn't fly there. He was bilocated. He bilocated there. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's yeah. kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. So he's a flyer, a levitator, and a bilocator. Yeah, a little quicker, I guess, to bilocate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to do the Superman thing. Right, right. exactly. One Christmas Eve, the saint invited shepherds to join in the celebration. Uh, When they started playing bagged pipes and flutes, the saint began to dance, and with a loud cry, flew up in the air to the high altar. He remained there for 15 minutes. Although he was leaning over several lighted candles, his garments were not affected, so he didn't catch on fire. Correct. (laughs) So, And the shepherds, I'm sure, were like, whoa, what What is going on here? This is kind of crazy. Um... I mean, I would, just all of a sudden. Psh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. We don't want him to be a candle. <laughs> right, right. And another story. One time a priest mentioned how beautiful God is in heaven. The saint, St. Joseph, mm-hmm. flew up to and rested on the top branches of an olive tree and remained there in the kneeling position for 30 minutes while the branches supported him while he was lightly swaying 
as if he was a small bird perching on, on yes. the top of so a tree. Yes, so obviously it wasn't a very big branch, you know. Right. Well, and all the trees not, aren't really that big. Right, and to be able to sustain his weight, you know, it's, it should have broke, you know. And right, he's just, just kinda, being held up by these little yeah. fine little branches. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I wish they had wow. cameras back then. And yeah, <laughs> the right? How come we, yeah, this, we don't yeah. get any of that anymore. Which is cool in the movie, St. Joseph Cupertino movie, you can see a little string that is holding him up when he is levitating, so it's kind of <laughs> fun to look for that string in the movie, but... Uh, St. Joseph had the gift to perceive sinful persons by the stench emanating from their bodies. Okay. One time he suddenly exclaimed, oh, what a stench. Oh, what a hellish stench. <laughs> that wouldn't be good if he said that to you. St. Right. Joseph quickly asked for permission to journey to a town. Upon arriving to a certain house, he persistently knocked at the door until he was allowed in. Running up the stairs, he found sorcerers with vases and pots, which he quickly thrashed with his cane until he had broken all their vessels. The sorcerers were obviously terrified and ran away. Right? St. Joseph would often approach people to remind them to confess their hidden sins. When they replied they were not conscious of any hidden sins, the saint would reveal the time, the place, and the circumstances of the offenses they had committed against God. It was like, um, okay, I, oh, man. you're right. <laughs> you can't hide that stuff. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would not be cool. I mean, he's not a guy that I would, I would probably want to hang out with on a right. regular basis. If you know this guy's holy, you might as well just come clean yeah. and just say hey, it Do all. you remember that time you did? No, shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> this one's cool. Now, all of them are cool, of course. Oh, well, yeah. A cardinal was about to write a letter to the saint for spiritual direction. The cardinal was surprised to receive a letter from the saint giving his answers to the unasked questions. <laughs> so he what? got the letter before he even asked it. So <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Uh, so he's like knows his thoughts you know, and answered the questions, send him a letter, got there in time before. <laughs> wait, a, how did you yeah. know that? <laughs> Ever seen those, uh, what was it on Johnny Carson where he would like give the, he was like had the Zoltar or whatever he was and he would like give you the answers to the questions and he'd open it up. And, yeah. So yeah, all of a sudden a letter comes in the mail. <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even ask these questions. Yet. Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Go God. Yeah. Obviously, these saints are close to God. I mean, anytime someone said something spiritual, Saint Joseph Cupertino would levitate, oftentimes at Mass, because he was so filled up with God. Especially at the time of the consecration, he would just go up, and people got used to it. And then he waited thirty or minute, fifteen minutes, whatever it was, and he'd come wow. back down. And then he would resume wherever he left off. So you know he was somewhere else yeah. in deep contemplation, but he knew exactly where he left off, and just kind of oh, whatever, that's normal. How would you like to be in that Mass? Just kind of going oh there he goes again <laughs> yep <laughs> or how do you get normalized to yeah, that i mean I know. it's kind of like mm, there he is yeah, yeah. the there brother i guess the brothers got used how to long it. it's going to take this time <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly well they probably were timing crazy. And they were also measuring how high he went up, oh, so, that, they? so they can give evidence to the church. So the church knew how fly, you know, how high he floated up. So. Yeah, that would be me. I'd be over there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna grab the tape measure. Exactly. Let's see how tall, how far yeah. he got this time. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. He's gonna break That's his record. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cool scene at the very end of the movie. The reluctant saint. He's literally flying over them, and they're all praying the rosary, and they're holding on to his garment so he won't go any higher up, like leave them and go into the clouds. So, oh my goodness. Because so, imagine if you're levitating in a church, he would hit the ceiling, right? You right. Know, if he went that high, but if he was outside he may not come back so so they oh made sure goodness. to hold on to his garment and make sure pull him back down that's <laughs> crazy kind of fun well i hope he comes down slowly I mean, yes it's not like he wakes up and goes uh oh yeah crash landing <laughs> yeah that would be bad yeah yeah <laughs> that's pretty yeah. crazy pretty cool saint that is awesome stories hmm. well thank you for joining us for another hanging with the saints joe joe saint joseph Kurpatani, pray for us yes in the meantime remember be real be bold be, be catholic. catholic god bless god bless you.